Hubble Bakers, Costco is huge here in the US. Everything they sell is larger than life, including their homemade muffins. These have set the internet on fire and I'm gonna show you how you can make them at home from scratch, no membership needed. In a nice big bowl here, I'm going to add in my all-purpose flour, some sugar, baking powder, a little bit of baking soda, and some salt. And then just give those dry ingredients a mix together. And I'm gonna set that over to the side and we're gonna to mix together our wet ingredients. So into this bowl, we're going to add in buttermilk. Now, if you don't have buttermilk to hand, you can very easily make it yourself. And that's what I did today. To make homemade buttermilk, you do one cup of milk and two tablespoons of lemon juice or vinegar. Let it sit for 30 minutes and it's ready to go. It's such a fantastic solution to no buttermilk. Into the buttermilk, we're going to add in our eggs. Look at those gorgeous orange yolks. They came from some happy chickens. A little bit of yogurt. Now, if you don't have yogurt, you can also use sour cream. The beauty of yogurt or sour cream and buttermilk in recipes is that they tenderize the flour in the recipe. They stop the gluten from forming. So um, it makes them really lovely and soft. So I love any recipe that has buttermilk and yogurt or sour cream. And this recipe has two, so it's gonna be good. Here we have some oil. I'm using vegetable oil. You can use canola, sunflower oil. You can even use a coconut oil if you like. This extra liquid just makes your muffins really moist. We're also gonna add in some melted butter in there, some vanilla extract, and then lastly, some lemon zest. And then just whisk these ingredients together. So those of you who've never been to a Costco, it is this huge big store where you can literally buy everything and anything you need or you don't need. Regardless, you're gonna leave there after spending $800. I have a love-hate relationship with Costco because I used to have a catering business in San Francisco in my like, you know, late 20s. And I used to shop there a lot and you can get good stuff there. But the problem was in San Francisco, it was really far from my apartment, but I used to walk there. The thing about it is you couldn't get taxis in that particular area of the mission. So I used to have to buy food and then walk with it back up to my house around, I'd say a mile, a mile and a half. Still, every time I walk in the door, I think like, oh gosh, I remember the time I used to do that. So once your wet ingredients are mixed up, just add them straight in there into the dry. And then with a the whisk, just bring this batter together until just combined. Just give it a quick mix there until it starts to come together. Then we're going to add in our blueberries the very last minute. Now, as you can see, I'm using frozen blueberries. And if you're using frozen blueberries, don't let them thaw beforehand. Put them in frozen because you don't want them to bleed in there. And then just go ahead and fold these in very briefly. Now, I will tell you when making muffin batter, you really want to just bring that batter together. You do not want to overmix this or your muffins will be tough. So here I have a jumbo muffin pan and I put a link for this on biggerbolderbaking.com with the written recipe. It's a six well muffin pan. They are really big. And that's the thing about Costco muffins. They are huge. That's why they're famous and everybody loves them. They're really big and they're really soft. And that's what this recipe is going to give you. So into these wells, I'm gonna divide all of this batter between the six. It might seem like a lot, but go with me here. Now, once you bring your batter together, you do want to get these into the oven as quickly as you can. Once that raising agent is mixed with the yogurt and the butter milk, it will start to actually activate and your muffin batter will technically start to work and start to rise. So you want to not hang around too much and get it into the oven. So I am making six ginormous muffins, enough to feed an army. However, if you want to bake these off in a regular cupcake pan, that is totally fine. Fill them up to the top and they will take less time to bake. Now, let me tell you that this recipe for the muffin, the base recipe is so fantastic and versatile. If you don't like blueberries and lemon, you can do strawberries, raspberries, strawberries and vanilla, um, whatever you like, nuts in there, some chocolate chips. You really can do whatever you want. My favorite muffin happens to be blueberry and lemon, so it's my lucky day. Let's get these guys into the oven. Bake your muffins at 375 degrees Fahrenheit, 190 degrees Celsius for roughly 35 to 40 minutes until lovely golden brown. 
Now I have many Costco stories that have been going there a very long time, but one of them was one day I was in Costco a few years ago in Los Angeles and I had a big cardigan on me and I'm pretty sure I had my hair in a top on and I looked a little bit like a crazy person. I definitely was eating samples. And somebody tapped me on the shoulder and asked me, was I Gemma Stafford? And that was a bit of an embarrassing moment. <laughs> you know, I kind of forget where I am. I'm doing my weekly shopping. I'm throwing stuff into the cart and I'm also sampling cheese and um, it was a fan and she wanted to take a picture. So we took a picture in front of the Isle of Cheese. <laughs> but yeah, good times. I am thrilled with how these muffins look. They're gorgeous. They have that beautiful domed top and all those blueberries are just bursting out of there. This is exactly what a Costco muffin looks like and I am thrilled that these look the same. But of course, let's break one open to see what it's like on the inside. Fantastic, it is chock-a-block with blueberries. I adore baked blueberries. I don't know what it is about baked blueberries that it has such a beautiful, almost floral flavor and then with the lemon. When I think of like the best muffin you've ever had, it is this. It's crispy on the outside. It is so soft in the middle. It is sweet, it has vanilla in it, the flavor of the blueberries. This is the kind of muffin that reminds me of a bakery style muffin. But the fact that you can make these at home from scratch in just a few minutes without having to go to Costco is pretty insane. I would give these muffins 10 out of 10. I think this was a huge success. Let me know in the comments below what other copycat recipes you'd like to see me make. And I'll see you back here again really soon.